And today marks one week uh, uh, and a day an Abuja Kaduna bound train was attacked by terrorists. And on that fateful day, many passengers were killed, others injured, and scores kidnapped. Now, a week after that incident, repair works are still ongoing. But what Kaduna residents are demanding for is that government should tackle the surge of terrorism ravaging the state. Lupe Asom reports. It's about a week since the shocking attack on the Kaduna bound train by terrorists who also opened fire on passengers. The NRC said 362 persons were documented to have boarded the train, while Kaduna government confirmed that eight of them died. Injured survivors were evacuated to hospitals, and dozens of them have been discharged. For now, over 150 persons are yet to be found, going by statements by the NRC. President Buhari described the incident as a callous attack. And the vice president, during his visit to victims, explained that the terrorists are cowards only out to cause fear. The president later issued directives that the military ruthlessly deal with terrorists and rescue those kidnapped. But seven days after, the victims still languish in unknown destinations with their abductors. Their loved ones now panic, especially after some of them received calls from the terrorists. Till today, train services remain suspended by the NRC. In a latest statement, it confirmed that at least seven coaches have been repaired, re-railed, and moved to NRC stations. Some people who spoke to us are yet to recover from the shock of the attack. One of the victims promised never to use the train again. Others still consider it a safer alternative and can't wait for train services to resume. It will be safe this time around because I believe the present administration, the government, have learned a lesson in terms of uh, uh, insecurity. Therefore, I hope that they will do something about the security issue and uh, people will now have a uh, free mind to come to the railway station and get a ticket to Abuja or beyond Abuja. The government should do more than just fixing the train. Because if you fix it, there's possibility the attackers might still come again. But when you fix the train, the train and then you, you address the security challenges by maybe uh, tracing the bandits, their hideout, and increasing security in the police station and every other thing there, I believe people will be comfortable with it. The recent surge in terrorism has come as a rude shock to Governor Nasir Arifai. And on Thursday, he called for extreme actions against bandits who he believe now partner Boko Haram. Despite ongoing operations, security agencies have been called out for failure to stem the surge of banditry. The Inspector General of Police on Saturday deployed additional troops to the Kaduna Abuja Highway. The military are also enhancing their troops to effectively tackle threats. Armies world over continually engage in training and capacity building to enable them surmount emerging security challenges. At least 64 numbers on the manifest are non-existent according to the NRC's latest statements. There are claims that despite checks to ensure all passengers boarding the train go in with tickets, many still do so without them. This has given rise to fears that if that was the case on the 28th of March, then more than 362 persons were actually on that train. And this again suggests that way more than 162 persons are currently missing and could probably have been kidnapped by the terrorists. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.